Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. Faith-based leaders have spent the past couple of days with police, hoping to come up with solutions to Philadelphia's growing problem with deadly gun violence. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts was at a session today with Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw. Alicia's live for us right now outside police headquarters. Alicia, good evening to you. Joe, good evening to you. The commissioner wore jeans and a t-shirt as she participated in a roundtable discussion with about a dozen young people, even sharing lunch with them about halfway through. Now, while the setting itself was very casual, the conversation was raw and honest. With the faith-based leaders serving as moderators throughout the afternoon, several of the young people shared powerful stories, a very negative experience with, with, is with police, either personally or, for example, watching a parent taken into custody. One young person said he saw that over and over as part of his childhood. Many also spoke about how race and the neighborhood they grew up in impacted how they interact with police. A lot of them carry this demeanor this real crazy demeanor where instead of y'all working for us, I'm patronized because you put that badge on. A lot of times I hear people tell a cop, if you took that badge off, what would happen? When do we give the opportunity for our young people to be heard? When do they have a voice? And when do we, as, as the elders, sit back and say, you know what, you're absolutely right. When do we just listen? So I think that's really important for us today. And one of the takeaway points the commissioner emphasized to the young people in attendance was being part of the change. And she said specifically by considering a career as an officer, she said it's a very powerful way to help improve some of the experiences they've lived through personally. If you didn't attend today's session or several of the other sessions that happened throughout the city this weekend, there was one more scheduled for tomorrow in the 6th District at 2 p.m. We've posted all of the information on our website, cbsphilly.com. For now, we're live outside police headquarters. Alicia Roberts, CBS 3. Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that report.